Okay, welcome back to another Smarter Architect tutorial. In this video, we're going to work on our foundations. So the first thing I want us to do is to set up the levels we need for our foundations. I'm gonna click on my north elevation here in this Acme project. And by default, we had set up just a top of footing elevation. But I want us to modify this project a little bit for our foundations now. And let's add an exterior and interior top of footing foundation level. So the first thing I want to do is just click on this one here. I'm going to add an elbow so that I can drop it down a little bit. And I know we're going to need a little bit of room here. So you can see my annotation clearly. So I'm just going to modify this elbow. The next thing I'm going to do is take my first floor plan. And if I click on that up here on the modify tab, I'm just going to copy down my level. I'm going to copy it down eight inches. And so that I can modify this, if I select this new level now and check, unclick my lock symbol that you see here, it'll allow me to drag just this one out a little bit so that I can modify it. Because I actually want to add an elbow to this level as well. And we're going to modify the level name. So for level six, we're going to change this to top of footing interior. Now I can modify these grips just a little bit and I could even pull it back in if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave it alone. I just want to be able to read where my elevations are for now. So that's our first step. The next thing I want to make sure I do while I'm here is just go ahead and extend down my grid line so that it does intersect with my foundation levels that I've just created. All right, top of footing here. And I could modify these all, but if I just open this north one, you see I have my top of footing exterior. Let me rename this too. And it'll rename all my views. There we go. So let's get started with laying out the pad foundations. If I come to my structural plan category, and I just want to click on this top of footing exterior. All right, here's our view. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to come up to our structural tab and I'm going to come down to my isolated on this foundation tab. And if I click on this, Revit tells me I have no structural foundation families loaded. We haven't begun our foundations until now. So we're going to click yes and go ahead and load that in. Come down to structural foundations and click on this footing rectangular family. Now, just to better organize our families, and I know that we're going to build our own pad foundations, I want us to do one quick thing and come back to this. We're just gonna cancel out, but I wanna come up to open family. And I'm gonna come down to this same category we're in structural foundations and my footing rectangular. Now let's open this. And the only thing I want us to do here is I want us to do a save as. We're going to save as family. And I want us to give ourselves a pad foundation. And I'm going to say save for this. And then the next thing I want us to do is we're going to do one more save as family. And we're actually going to name this Peer Foundation. And we'll click Save for this too. Then I'm just going to close out of this family editor environment. Now let's get back to what we were doing. If you come up to the Structural tab and come to Isolated now. And yes, we'd like to load a family. When I get down to structural foundations, you'll see I have these two new families, which are really just copies of the footing rectangular family. 
but it better organizes us for moving forward. So we said we were going to start with our peers, with our pads. I'm going to open this family. And before we place this, I know that the footer that we want to use is actually a four foot eight by four foot eight by one foot thick. That's our pad. So let's hit edit type here. And now we're actually just going to, I'm going to rename this one because I know that I just created this as a copy. So I'm going to make sure that we get this right here. We said four foot eight. by four foot eight. By one foot. And I'm going to click OK for this. And then let's just modify things while we're here. So four space eight, four space eight again. And then we're just one foot here. And I'll just go ahead and click apply. Now, the next thing we need to do is just go ahead and insert this pad foundation that we've now created to the size that we need. You see, there's two ways to do this. We can just come into our grid intersections and just place it, which I'll do for this first one. Remembering that because I'm in my top of footing, exterior level, it's actually placing it at the appropriate reference level. Or I can select at grids. When I select at grids, I'm actually going to select each one of these grids as well as my number one. I'm holding down control, selecting number one, and I'm going to select number three. So now you see how quickly we can place in these foundation pads, assuming they're all the same size, which I'm going around the exterior right now. So I'm going to click finish for that, but I have a few more that we need to drop in as well. So I'm going to drop this one in. And I'm going to drop these other two in as well. So now if we just keep referring back to this 3D view we have, you'll see that my footer actually sits below the foundation wall. All right. So now I'm going to come back to this top of footing exterior level. Let's go ahead and complete what we were doing here and let's open up. We should have a top of footing interior level but I'm not seeing that right now. If I come up to my view tab and select on plan views and click my structural plan, you'll see that any levels that are in my project that don't currently have a view loaded for my structural plan, which is what I'm looking at right now, will show up on the list. And if I click OK, you'll see that view will populate right into that structural plans. And I can click and open that one up. Now let's come back up to structural, our isolated, and we still have this pad foundation. It's, it's the same type. We're just inserting it at a different elevation now. I'm going to do this a similar way. At grids, select just my interior grids, north, south, and hold down control, select number two, and place these in as well. I'll click finish to accept. And now we have all of our pad foundations in the project. I hope this video has been helpful for you.